Hello guys, um, good afternoon. Trust you are doing well and hope you are staying safe. Alright, um, this afternoon I want to just do a quick video on how to create a coat design. So I'm going to explain a simple coat design, how to come about it. So um, let's quickly just dive into it. So coming down here, we, as usual, we're going to see our crowd interface come up to new, docu do new document. Now let's name it quote design. So let's use um, a typical Instagram um, post um, size. That's square size. That's 300 by 300. And make sure your resolution is 300 to have a very high quality. I press OK. So we have the canvas here. Now that we have the canvas, we want to lay out our paper. So double click on your rectangle tool. Now we have the paper set, so we want to remove our outline. So right click on this um, no um, color, so it removes the outline. So we are good to go. So let's go straight. We want to do this. This is what we want to achieve today. Let me increase that. This is what we want to achieve. Something exactly like this. So the first thing we want to do is bring in a picture. If you notice we have um, a forest beneath this picture then we have like a, a black um, shade a kind of black color covering it a little bit then we have this color and we have the text so we'll be doing something very very short and simple but this time instead of using a rectangular shape a rectangular size we're going to use um, a square so the first thing you want to do is bring in your or first let's type our text come down here choose text tool and type optimism is the fate that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without. Stop. So uh, we're going to use um, let's make use of um, Gotham book. Yeah. So we're going to increase it. And first of all, you know, like I said, before you start any design, let's drag this out. Before you start any design, make sure you um, demarcate your canvas so that you won't. Um, so you have a proper arrangement and a proper um, professional look of your design. So the markets bring in your grids and just arrange them like that. So let's paint this black or one thick black. So we've chosen this black but it is not thick enough. So to make it a thick black, we come down here, double click. Now this particular um, square, drag it down to the thickest black there and press OK so it's thick. Now bring this up here or down here. I mean, then we'll paint it white. Choose white color. Reduce it a little bit. So we have this. You can now zoom in to properly place it so that it aligns perfectly on the grid line. So the next one to do is create this. So it's not a big deal. It's just this. This is just um, um, what's it called? Apostrophe. So you can make it either large or small. I can paint it yellow, but you will notice that the color used in the design is not yellow. So let's assume we don't want to use yellow. We want to use this particular color. All you just need to do is come to this part. It's an eyedropper too, so it adds color to the palette. So you just choose it and come to where the color is and select it. Automatically place that color here. So you can now choose wherever it is you want to change color to. And see, we have that. So let's take it up a little bit to make sure you carry it up and it's still maintaining that line. Make sure you hold your control. 
or, or your shift I mean make sure you hold your shift so it doesn't it maintains that line and it's, it looks very nice so the next thing is <coughs> excuse me the next thing is you want to write the name so we draw out picking your rectangle to you draw out your box and you paint it the same color but when you paint remove the outline so you right click on this then reduce it a little bit now for your coat design ensure you use just one font you don't want to start mixing two fonts together and always try to use a font that is so simple and very um, beautiful you don't want to start using um, funny fonts like Comic Sans or um, Am um, Amalfi Coast those fonts might not really look well for quotes because quotes is meant to be seen properly so you would want to use a font that is very clear for both adult and young so Gotham book again paste it here but we increase it a little bit now because this is the name and we want to um, make the name a bit bold so instead of Gotham book we we'll change it to Gotham black so it gives it this um, boldness now we can change the color you see it is not that um, dark the color so we just choose that black color that we went for the earlier so now we have a beautiful coat so the next thing which is the final thing is to just put the image just like we can see in, the, uh, in this design we want to include the image so I downloaded the image it is not the same but it is similar so this is an image I got on Google I just typed foggy forest F O G G Y forest then space HD so you go to the image section and you just download any um, picture that you you love to work with <coughs> So that immediately after you watch this video, I would like you to try it out yourself and share me your um, your design. And you don't necessarily have to use. I would I would prefer you not using this same coat. You can get a coat online or your personal coat and put your name and you know work with it. So what we want to do is this is the canvas. This is the image. So we want to put this image into this canvas. Excuse me, sorry. Want to put this image into this canvas so what you do is right click on this image and drag till you see this icon then release your right release your right click then you see move here copy here or power clip you power clip let me explain again using your right click drag and place on this background and you press power clip excuse me so when you power clip the image is dropped on the background but we want to edit it such that the image doesn't show too much and yet it fills the whole background because you can notice that this place is still black the background is only um, the image is just up here and even up here they're still black so what do you do you you press edit so when you press edit it takes you it takes you into this box now you can enlarge you can enlarge and you know place it properly now if you press finish or for those of us that are not using um, Corel X9 when you are when you are done you just right click and you see finish editing power clip so you click on that so for those of you that are not using um, Corel X9, you can go through that. But for those of us that are using Corel X9, just press finish here. And it takes you back to the main page. But you see that this design, uh, this image is still overshadowing your text. And you want to make sure that your text is actually seen. Sure, you understand? Your text is the emphasis. The image is just a complementary, um, a complementary element of the design. So we want to reduce the opacity of that image. So you come inside the um, design again. For those of us that are not using Corel X9, just right click and you press Edit Power Clip. But for those of us that are using X9, just double click and you will enter into this um, space. So click on the image. 
Now come down to your transparency tool. I'm sorry for the noise in the background. So come down to your transparency tool. Choose transparency. Zoom out a little. You will see this. Then reduce it to probably 70. Then press finish. Now we can see that we have the design. So I'll delete this. And come down here and press to fit so it can be large. No, so we see it's it's actually very simple to create um, a coat design. Very simple. If you want to create a coat design that is very very smooth, um, straightforward, not too colorful, um, not too minimal, just something very nice and catchy, this would work. And also, if you want to just put your image, you can come up here, choose your circle, holding your control, drag your circle. Sorry for the noise at the background. So drag your circle, just paint it with this same color, remove the outline, and place it up here. So if, if you are not going to put your picture here, you can put your logo or whatever it is you want to put and just place it here. So if you click on this full screen preview, you see we have a nice um, coat design. Very, very simple, straightforward. In less than 10, 15 minutes, you are done with that. And you can usually you can usually do this for your um, church designs, your personal code designs, motivational talks, and all that. So yeah, so basically that's what we are going to talk about today. And immediately you watch this video, I would like you to come up with your own code design and send me the um, design via um, direct message. And I'll you know I'll be expecting that. All right, thank you very much for your time.